Hi children, today we are doing something different. We are doing subtraction of two digit numbers and here we are going to borrow if the number, if the second number is small, big and the top, you have to borrow. You cannot minus, you cannot take away from a small number, a big number. So we are going to do a nice different type of sum subtraction with borrowing. Let's learn it carefully. Look at the first sum, study it carefully. Observe, look and learn. Okay? Shall we go to our first exercise? Look. We have put the numbers in ones and tens order. Remember, we are going to borrow. What is the meaning of borrow? Look. Now, we have here six ones, seven ones. Six is small, seven is big number. You cannot, in subtraction, you cannot say 6 minus 7. No, the top number should be a big number. Only then you can take away this number. Since the 6 is small, 6 minus 7 cannot happen. In subtraction here, what we are going to do, if from the tens place, we are going to borrow 110 and then we will bring it to the ten ones place. What are we going to take from here? There are five tens here. We will take away one ten. Borrow one ten. So we cut this, put the four here, and that one will bring it here. So we have one ten plus six ones is sixteen. How did you get the sixteen? One ten we borrowed. Plus 6, 1 is 16. From 5, we take away, we took away 110. So, we have 4 here. Now, let us do the subtraction. Now that we have 110 plus 6, 1, that is 16, we will take away, we will minus 7. 16 minus 7 gives you 9. 16 minus 7. Okay? Now, we, have, we can check out. Now, 7 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 9. 9 plus 6, 7 is 16. So we know 16 take away 7 is 9. Now that we completed the 1's part, now we go to the 10's part. Here we gave away 1, so we have only 4 left. 4 minus 3. 4 minus 3 gives you 1. Now you understood? So 4 minus 3 is 1. Our answer is 9. Now you know what is the meaning of 2 digit subtraction with borrowing? We will do more sums and learn for ourselves. So here your answer is 19. Let's take a new sum. Look what you have here. We have 72 minus 24. 72 Take away 24. When we minus, we begin with the ones place first. Now here we have 2 ones, 4 1. 2 minus 4. From a small number 2, you cannot minus a big number 4. 2, you cannot minus 4 from a small number 2. Now here we are going to do borrowing. We go to the tens place and we'll borrow one from here. One ten and you bring it to the ones place. And it will be ten plus two twelve. We borrow one from here and so there is six, seven take away. One is six. Now one ten plus two ones gives you twelve. Ten we got from this side and two. 12. Now we will do 12 take away 4. What is 12 take away 4 is 8. Now, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Correct. So, from 12 take away 4 is 8. And here you have 6. 6 minus 2. 
6 take away 2 is 4. So, you get 4, 5, 6. So, 6 take away 2 is 4. Your answer is 48. Good. Your answer is 48. Now, you learned how to borrow from tens you bring it and how you take away the big number, the small number. Shall we go to another exercise? See how we do the borrowing. Okay? Look at your sum. 41 minus 15. 41 minus 15. Now, you have 4 tens, 1 1, 1 10, 5 1. Look at the ones place. You have 1 here, you have 5 here. 1 is a small number. You cannot take away 5 from 1. So, here we borrow 1 10 from here and bring it to the 1's place. 1 10 plus 1 will be 11. So, we are going to borrow 1 10. So, we curve this. So, when you take away from 4 1 10, you get 3 minus that 1 10 plus 1 is 11. We write the 11 here. Now, we finish borrowing 1 10. Now, 11 take away 5. From 11, take away 5 is 6. When you take away from number, big number 11, you take away minus 5, you get 6. Yes? What is the balance? 6. Now, here 3. 3 tens minus 1 ten is 2 tens. So, you get 2 here. Your answer is 26. 41 minus 15 gives you 26. Now, you learn two digit subtraction by borrowing method. Let's take another sum and learn to borrow and then minus. Look at the sum now. New sum you have 67 minus 38. 67 minus 38. 6, 10, 7, 1, 3, 10, 8, 1. Now, let's go to the ones place. You have 7 here and you have 8 here. 7 is small, 8 is big. You cannot take away number 8 from 7 which is small. Now, look carefully. We are going to borrow 1 from the tens place. When we take away 1 ten from the 6, it becomes 5. From 1 ten, when we remove from the 6, the balance is 5 ten. So, you write the 5. The 1 ten, when it goes into the 1's place, 1 ten plus 7 is 17. 1 ten plus 7 is 17. Now, we minus 17 minus 8. 17 take away 8. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 is 9. You get 9. 17 minus 8 is 9. And here 5 minus 3. 1, 2, 3. Your answer is 2. Why take away 3 is 2. Now, 67 minus 38 is 29. Yes, 67 minus 38 is 29. This is the two-digit borrowing method. Subtraction with borrowing. Yes, did you learn? Now, let's take another sum and learn to borrow from the tens before we minus. Here we are. We have 82 minus 14. 8 tens, 2 ones, 1 ten, 4 one. 82 take away 14 is what? First, go to the ones place. You have 2 ones and 4 one. You cannot take away 4 from 2 which is small. The 2 is small, 4 is big. So, you cannot minus from 2, you cannot take away 4. Therefore, we will take 1. We borrow 1 ten from here. From the 8 tens, we take away 1 ten. We will borrow 1 ten. And that will be the remaining is 7 tens. And this 1 ten plus 2 1 become 
12. 1, 10 and 2 will become 12. Now we can borrow. Now we can, after having borrowed, we will minus 12. From 12, you can take away 4. 12 minus 4 is 8. 12, take away 4, your answer is 8. Here, 7 minus 1 is 6. What is your answer? 7 minus 1 is 6. 82 minus 14 gives you the answer 68. Two digit subtraction with borrowing. So 82 minus 48 is minus 14 is 68. Let's look at another sum and learn to do double digit subtraction with borrowing. 92 minus 47. 9 tens to 1, 4 10, 7 1. 92 minus 47. Let's say in the ones place you have 2 1s and 7 1. 2 is small, 7 is big. You cannot take away 7 from 2. The first number should be big. Therefore, you will take We'll borrow 1 from the tens place, that is 9 is here. We'll take 1 ten, but then it becomes 8 tens balance. There is 9 here. We'll take away 1 ten, which becomes 8. The 1 ten we take to the ones place, 10 plus 2, 12. 1 ten we borrowed, plus 2 become 12. Now from 12, we can take away 7. 12, you can take away 7. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That is 5. From 12, take away 7 is 5. Here you have 8. 8 tens minus 4 tens give you 4 tens. 8 minus 4 is 5. 92 minus 47 gives you the answer. 45. Double digit, two digit, subtraction with borrowing. Are you enjoying? Let's go to another sum. Here. 82 minus 45. 8 tens, 2 ones, 4 tens, 5 one. 82 minus, 82 take away 45. Good. Let's go to the ones place. You have two, one, five, one. You cannot take away the five number below. The number below is small, big, and the top number is two, is small. You cannot take away five from small number two. Now we have to go into borrowing. We borrow one ten from the eight tens here. From eight tens, we take away, we borrow one ten. To bring it to the ones place. So the balance is remaining is 7 tenths. We write the 7. We should not forget. 1 ten plus 2 ones is 12. We took the 1 ten here plus this 2. 1 ten plus 2 ones is makes 12. Now from 12 you can minus 5. 12 is a big number. 12 you can minus 5. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 7. 12 minus 5 is 7. So you write the number 7 down here. Now we have 7 here. Minus 4. 7 take away 4 is 3. 7 take away 4 is 3. 82 minus 45 gives you the answer 37. You got the answer? 37. Two digit subtraction with borrowing method. Did you enjoy? Let's go to another sum and learn to do a little bit of borrowing. 50 minus 44. 50 minus 44. 5 10, 0 1, 4 10, 4 1. Let's do the borrowing. Let's go to the ones place and borrow. You have 0 here and 4 here. 
you cannot take away 4 from 0. Nothing is there, no number. So, we borrow 110 from the tens place. We borrow from 5 tens. We take away, we borrow 110. The balance is 4 tens. The 110, we bring it here. The only 0, so you put the 110 here. Now, number 10, 110 minus 4 10, sorry, 110 is brought here. So, 10 minus 4 is, 10 minus 4 is 6. Your, here you have 4 tens and 4 10. 4 take away 4 is 0. So, your answer is 6. 50 take away 44 gives you the answer 6. Did you enjoy? Two digit subtraction with borrowing. Come on, let's go to another sum. Look what you have. 92 minus 37. 9 tens, 2, 1, 3, 10, 7, 1. 92 minus 37. Let's go to the ones place. You have 2 on the top, 7 down. 2 small number, 7 is big number. So, you cannot take away 7 from 2. Let's go into borrowing. We go to the 9 tens, borrow 1 ten. 9 minus 1 is 8. 1 ten when we take it that side. 10, 1 ten plus 2, 12. From 12, you take away 7. From 12, you take away 7, you get 5. From 12, you take away 7, you get answer 5. Here, you have 8 minus 3 is also 5. 8 minus 3 is 5. 92 minus 37. 92 take away 37 gives you the answer 55. I hope now you learnt what is two digit subtraction with borrowing.